cellists on the whole, we seem to get on very well with each other, which I think is, is great. Cellists tend to be quite sort of quirky individuals, um, very individualistic people, because I think the instrument is, is, is one of such character. When I was six, I think my father, he chose the um, cello for me. I think because of the uh, Cultural Revolution, so that time they couldn't learn any, any Western instrument. So it always his kind of dream. So he chose that for me and I'm very happy with that. And I think if I had a chance to choose again, I, I think I still would choose cello. I was taken to uh... Uh, a children's concert at the Royal Festival Hall in London and I spotted the cello there and I've always thought that the cello is a very physical instrument. You could see how the notes are made and how the whole tone is produced and I just thought it looked infinitely more appealing than the piano which of course my mother had tried to start me on so I asked to play a cello, a little tenth size instrument to write. I always steered clear of um, fellow musicians I, I never even had a girlfriend, even at music college, who was a musician. Actually, you were the complete opposite of me, in that all your previous... Well, yeah. I shouldn't say all. Yeah. Your previous <laughs> boyfriends, they were they were all musicians, yeah? Yeah, and not only that, they are um, you know, ch cellist. <laughs> I think the whole El Sistema movement has been just an extraordinary phenomenon and it's beginning to escape from the arts pages onto the sort of news pages because the results have been so fantastic. I mean, it's been going on in Venezuela for 35 years and we've only just started here in England. Um, we've got three projects so far, one in Liverpool, one in Lambeth, one in um, Norwich and there are going to be four more announced very, very soon which is extremely exciting. When you're very young, I think you should play the music you want to play because you're more likely to work at it harder, you're more likely to want to practice it. If you believe your dream and if you want to be a musician, keep trying and don't give up. <laughs> way that music seems to bring something out of a child so that their schoolwork improves, their attendance at school improves because they're so excited they want to actually come to school and make this music with their friends. So it's been um, a wonderful thing to be part of and uh, it's something which I think is going to grow and grow across the world. Music uh it's important to everybody. You can't have no music in your life. <laughs> I've never known life without music, so I can't really imagine what it would be like. It really has been and is my life. I think Seed Music TV is a, a fantastic idea. Um, the production levels are very, very high, and it's bringing classical music to, to people really in a different way. And I, I think that's brilliant. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the future. I'm definitely interested in doing more work with Jiaxin because she's a lovely player. It's fascinated me, the possibilities of doing things with two cellos, so I'm exploring repertoire and watch this space. <laughs>